Okay, students, today we are looking at some pi bond reactions. So we're going to take a look at how our two compounds here react. And so we're going to be testing uh, cyclohexene, which I have here in a small vial in yellow. And for comparison, we're going to take a look at the reaction of cyclohexane. So we will be reacting these compounds with a couple of items. We're going to react them with uh, some bromine. Uh, then we're going to react it with bromine mixed in water. And then we're going to react this with potassium permanganate. So I'm going to do this on a spot plate. And first thing we're going to do is take a look at a uh, bromine solution with our cyclohexene and cyclohexane. Okay, so our first uh, reaction we're going to do is uh, some bromine here. So we have 0.1 molar solution bromine dissolved in methylene chloride. And so what I'm going to do is take a few drops and place them into my spot plate. So... You notice here our bromine solution is a nice dark orange color. So I'm putting five drops into each of my spot plates here. Okay. So go ahead and cap my solution. And again, notice the nice orange coloration that you're getting on the spot plate here. We're going to start off with cyclohexane. I'm going to go ahead and add a drop and see if we get any reaction. Okay, so there's two drops of cyclohexane. And next up, we're going to add two drops of cyclohexane. Now notice I'm going into a different spot plate, so the goal here is to test each one individually. All right, so hopefully you noticed that with cyclohexane, we see the color of the bromine disappear but with cyclohexane, it actually stayed. So this will give you a hint as to which type of compound can react with bromine solution. Okay, so next up, we're gonna taste, test our same two compounds, cyclohexane and cyclohexane, but this time I'm going to use an aqueous solution of bromine. So I have it here uh, covered with foil because it is light sensitive, so let me go ahead and uncover. Okay, and again, I'll uncover it so you can see here. It is an orange solution. However, it is dissolved with some water. Okay, so I'm going to add five drops to each of my wells here. Okay. And for this one, I do need to cap it right away. And next up, we will add our hydrocarbons. So again, we're going to try cyclohexane first. So I'm going to add two drops of cyclohexane. Okay. And just because these two layers don't interact well, I'm going to go ahead and just stir with an extra pipette I have here. Okay. And that was cyclohexane down below. Next up, we're going to test cyclohexane. And again, let me stir slightly to ensure we get some mixing. And there we go. Okay. So again, if you notice, the cyclohexane did react with our bromine solution in water, but our cyclohexane did not. Okay, so for our next chemical test, we will be using some potassium permanganate, and again, we're going to test both of the hydrocarbons from before. I'm going to go ahead and take a couple of drops of potassium permanganate. And once I get it onto the spot plate here, I want you to notice the color. Okay, we have a nice purple color going on. Let me add an extra drop over here. So we have five drops of potassium permanganate into each of the wells. Let me cover that up. Okay, and again, we're gonna start off with cyclohexane and see if we get any reaction here. No 
Okay, so that was three drops of compound. And it looks like we're getting no color change. Okay, now I'm going to repeat with cyclohexene. Let's see if we get a color change. Let me add one more drop. All right. So if you notice here, we're getting a nice brown precipitation. And I'm going to go ahead and stir it with my with my little pipette here. And we have a pretty difference in color there. So again, we're building up a brownish black precipitate once we've reacted cyclohexene, but uh, we have no reaction with cyclohexene.